here it is um, our beautiful Beltane maypole little centerpiece here <music> of maypole and maypole dancing is basically dates back to pagan times and the maypole was basically a phallic symbol of um, you know trees have always been a sign of fertility and vitality in nature so the maypole dance was strongly associated with this fertility traditionally maypole dancing was performed by the young girls from medieval villages as part of the maytime celebrations the history of the maypole dancing was connected with both Druids, Wiccans, and the Romans. So May 1st was an important date for the Druids and the Wiccans as this was the Festival of Beltane. It marked the beginning of the pastoral summer season and was celebrated by the lighting of bonfires. Wiccans celebrated by dancing around the Maypole and choosing a May Queen. What you're going to want to have is, and it's things that I got at my local Joanne store. Um, I made like five of them, so the in the stuff that I needed was a little bit more expensive overall. But individually, if you're just wanting to make like one or something, it's going to be pretty cheap for you. So for this, I'm using these little wooden round um, plaque discs, and they cost me about 99 cents each. I got um, this big round disc for these little um, moss these little moss type looking things right here and as you can see they have some earth dirt in them. I separated it from the bottom because it was a little too thick but um, when we're going to glue it down that's going to help this stay a little bit more. So I got five smaller discs out of this big disc so that was only $6.99. So I also got this little uh, packet of these small uh, wooden dowels, these tiny little ones. I mean, you can also use toothpicks if you already have them, if you want to get them cheaper, but it's going to be good because it's going to be going inside of our paper straw here, um, which brings me to the paper straws. I found this big pack of Wilton, um, you know, party straws. Um, they might be like cake pop things, but the good thing about them is they come with this cute little design on them, and they had them in black and white, which I got. They also had them in like a pinkish red, which I was like thinking about, but I thought it would be better to just do the plain black and white, and it came with like two different kinds, um, but the good thing about them is they're hollow, so when we're wrapping the ribbons around these dowels, they're going to go inside them, so it'll make them kind of flare out like that, so that's what's going to be cool about them. In the package of the straws, um, they were on sale for like almost a dollar off, so they were $4.99 regularly, but I got them for like $3.74. We're going to be using craft paint, just basic, basic acrylic uh, craft paint to uh, paint the discs. I already started on the bottom here. I already had these, but they aren't more than like a dollar or two each. I already have like paint brushes. I already had this E6000 glue, which is really, really great. I can't stress enough having a tube of this on hand. It works for, you know, it works for like glasses, woods, um, pretty much any anything. A little bit goes a long way, um, so you really want to be careful on how you're squeezing it when you're doing that because otherwise it'll just go everywhere. I'm also going to be using glue sticks. So I'm only going to be using the craft glue to set this down in place. You could be using the hot glue, but I just, I don't know, I kind of like to use that. But then for every, everything else pretty much, I'm just going to be using regular uh, craft store hot glue and I have my little a little glue gun here that I got so you can get that for like I don't know five bucks the mini glue sticks comes in a pack of 18 for like 549 so that wasn't so bad um, also you're gonna need of course your ribbons so I got five spools of these ribbon um, generally you could go smaller I got them because they had this nice little design on them that came in both silver and gold on some of them and they had uh, five different colors worth so I wanted to you know have a few different colors full of ribbon but I also wanted to make them look you know a little bit busier um, if there was nothing else going on with them so this was the smallest size they had that had an actual pattern on them with any pretty you know jewel tone colors 
So I ended up going with this bigger ribbon, but I mean, you can use smaller ribbon, you can use whatever you want, um, how many colors you want, it's, it's up to you. So, the sky's the limit with that. So each of these spools of ribbon costs about $2.99. Um, so that, that is not too bad on its own. I believe the smaller ribbon was cheaper, but like I said, I, I like the pattern on them, so I went with those. I also got a pack of various, various um, shape and size uh, little wooden round discs here, because we're going to use that on top um, for the perch on top of the uh, ribbon so that we can put the little crown up there. For all the the packet of little wooden circles, it was about $4.99, but it comes with like 130 different kinds. Also, um, we're gonna have uh, little toppers to go on top of them. But the pack of beads came in um, pack of 30, I believe, and you had all different little kinds there. I paid uh, about $4.49 for that pack, so you know you get a bunch of different ones to choose from. So you can use the rest of them for you know future projects anything like that so let us get started so first we're going to be going ahead and taking a little paintbrush here we're just going to take some of our acrylic paint here and we're just gonna we're just gonna pour a little bit in the cap just to get enough to get that going just a little bit So uh, we're just going to be painting this little side part here and the top because the rest, and we already painted the bottom, so that this part, these two parts right here are going to be purple. So we want to just get this little ridge, this little ridge part right here, and then the top are going to be black. So we're just going to start painting away. let that dry for a second and then give it a second coat once that dries out but in the meantime we're gonna take a smaller brush and I have here a um, synthetic fiber it's from a, a it's actually a baking brush like a cake paint brush set that I got um, some synthetic fibers here also from Wilton, but I got it a while ago and I liked it because it was purple. So it has a nice tiny little brush there. So I'm just going to take this small brush and use it for the insides here.
start gluing down the moss um, disc that we have here. So we're just going to go ahead and then cover the glue. See, it's all ready, all ready to go here. I want it to burst out everywhere. So I'm going to just take it and kind of go along with it here, kind of make a, a star shape, if you will. kind of almost got like a spider web going on there with it so we're just gonna pop this down on here nice like that and just make sure we press down everywhere because we want that to connect nicely tuck in any little furry bits we see So before I started, I actually kind of cut a little bit of a whole section in the middle as a place to where I could put the straw and kind of anchor it down to the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to open this back up a little actually and put a little bit on the straw bit here on the base of the straw. I'm just going to kind of wedge that down in there. Fix this back on here like so. So while that's setting up, we're going to go ahead and start working on the ribbons on our dowel here. So we're going to take our Dowel again, a toothpick if you want to use it, um, whatever you have that you would like to work with is fine. Um, so actually before we do that, we're going to paint our little disc here. So we're going to get the paint back out, and we're going to do one side black and the other side purple. Oh, also, um, what we want to do is just give it a little finish here on the grass since we don't want all this little gray stuff showing, kind of, um, the little, I, I don't know, stuffing kind of that was in it, in between it and the other bottom layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little, little quick coat here, just to have some covering. I wanted to make sure when I was doing this that it would actually wrap around the straw. So we're gonna, I went ahead and just ran it around the straw when I was measuring it to go ahead and make sure that it was long enough that it would do that. So that's how I measured how much I was going to cut for the straw. And then each additional straw, since it's gonna be going down further, um, into the straw it needs a little bit more length for it to come up and have the same length when it reaches the bottom. So I took the first straw, that's how I measured um, the first piece of ribbon, and then each additional piece of ribbon I just wanted to make it a little bit longer than the previous ribbon. So I made it about, you know, an inch and a half I'd say longer, an inch and a half more inch to an inch and a half longer um, than each previous ribbon. So that's what I did here 
that's how we wanted to make sure we have enough ribbon for the length that we need um, to even out. And you know, once you get it, if it's a little bit too long, we can always cut it. So we'll go over that once we get to it. Um, so for now, we're going to go ahead and take our little dowel here and our first piece of ribbon. Um, and at the ends, I just kind of made them um, slanted. Um, so, you know, it makes a nice little piece for the bottom here. So we're going to take our dowel and we're going to take our hot glue gun and just at the very top, um, you know, about the length of the length of your ribbon here, you just want to make that much of a little line of hot glue top here so that we can get some tack down for portion of ribbon and you're going to want to make your glue Down there, be careful with your fingers so you don't burn yourself. And then we're going to go and wrap it while still trying to anchor the piece that we have here with our finger. We're going to take it and we're going to wrap it around tight. So we're going to try and wrap it tight without letting it drag from still being warm. So we're just going to take it here. We have our glue down on the stick. We're just going to make sure that we tack it down in one spot. And then we have that held down. Be careful not to burn yourself. And then we're just going to wrap it around that glue. I'm just going to wrap it around that glue so it holds it down in place. And then we're just going to add just a little bit more here to the seam. So we can just give it another little wrap so it completely is completely covered. And we're going to hold that there and let it dry. that's done, we're going to move on to our next piece. And our next biggest piece is going to be this red one here. It's a little bit longer than the original one. And so you see how we have this one coming down over this way? We're going to make sure this one is kind of doing the opposite thing here. And it's going to be facing the other way. So we're going to um, do the same thing with the glue, but this time we're going to wrap it around the opposite way. You don't have to line up where the ribbons sit on here. I kind of did that a little bit by accident. But if you want to, give it a little bit of a vary. So if you have one sitting right here, maybe have the other one coming off another way or another way. So that once, when it's coming out, um, they're not all trying to go the same direction. So it looks a little bit different. So it's easier to have one coming in one way and another and another and so on. So. All right, so now we're going to proceed to our next one. So since this one has gone the opposite way, we're going to go back to this one and have it come back over the same way as the beginning one.
you see how they're all kind of pointed different ways now so that's good so that's going to help when we're trying to get this um, put into the lollipop area so we're going to do that next take the lollipop stick we've got here and we're going to place it inside so what we're going to do is when we're doing this we're going to want to make sure that we have the ribbons turned out so how the ribbons are facing out this way we're going to want to turn them so that the top side so as we're feeding in the dowel we're going to want to turn them so that the pattern is facing up like upright normal so looking at it from up to down so as we're feeding it in we're gonna want to twist a little bit of each one of these ribbons so that they're coming out the right way so just keep that in mind when you're doing this and you're gonna want to kind of guide them to be where each ribbon is sitting in a different area all around the pole so that we have a nice even coverage around the pole so that's why I was saying when you're gluing it try to make it secured in a different area so let's begin down that it's I'm not really wanting to go carefully take a pair of scissors or something hold the base of it and you're not gonna you do it very hard because if you do it very hard you can go off or something on the side and hurt yourself or if you have another way you want to do it like a pencil or a pen or something that's fine do that but I have scissors on hand so that's what I'm gonna do so holding your pole steadily so and making sure you don't have any of the ribbons cut underneath your hand we're just going to go ahead and push this a little bit further down inside so that the um, dowel is now inside of the lollipop stick. Okay, so now that we have all these down in here, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go around each each one. Um, we're going to snip, we're going to kind of measure them out and we're going to make it so that when they're when it's on the base we're going to make it so that we hold the ribbon up high enough where when we glue it down or when we tack it down to the base it's going to have a little bit of curve out to it so it looks a little more lively so we're going to go ahead and just take this ribbon and just kind of tack it down here we're going to put a little bit of glue on the base here where we want it just a little bit, just a little drop. And we're just going to go ahead and tack that down there. It is hot, so again, be careful. And you can use the way that the ribbon's already wanting to curl to kind of help play that along. So um, since we have um, some of that longer ribbon to make sure we had enough room to play with, go ahead and just snip some of the end of it off. And again, try to keep a, um, an angled cut. So instead of, see how it's straight, we're just going to angle it this way so it makes a nice little effect there. So since we have that, we're just going to go ahead and tack it down and see how nicely it kind of curves out like that. So just go ahead and, and play along with that. And then we're just going to take a little bit of glue, find out where we want it little drop and tack it down. Now we're just going to go around and do that with each one of these, uh, making sure we have some nice even, and make sure each of the ribbons are nice and spread out. how we 
we have this really nice kind of, it looks lively, it looks like it's, it's participating in the wind. So, now once we add this perch on top, it's gonna make it look even more animated. So we're gonna take some of our hot glue, dab it down on there, Ball it to try and get it as in the center as possible and just stick it down on there and attack itself. Once we've got that we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of glue right here little drop right there to stick the centerpiece on and just get that stuck down there. Make sure you try and get it as in the center as possible. It's going to take our little bicone crystal. We're going to take a little bit of glue right here and just get a nice little drop of it inside the top hole of this bead just right there and then we're going to stick a little bicone bead right into the top Give it a nice little point stick too much glue in it's not going to come out that nicely and you'll have a nice little ring of glue around it which is what I did but no one's going to see it at this up close, so it'll be fine. And there you have it. 